hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to this new Blender tutorial in which we're gonna learn how to make the textures you watched in the beginning, this uh, procedural shader. So first thing we have to do is like add, add our, our, our object. You can apply this on anything you want, but I'm going to apply it on a Suzanne so that it's a little bit quicker. And we're gonna add a modifier uh, subdivision surface. If you're not using a Suzanne, this is not really necessary. But if you're uh, following the tutorial just like I'm doing it, maybe add a subdivision surface so that you get smoother um, edges in which to apply the, the, um, the texture. Then we're gonna apply this modifier and then set the Suzanne to shade smooth. And now we're going to add a light so that we can see what we're doing with the texture. And we're gonna move it up with G and Z, then a little bit to the front with G and Y, and a little bit to the side with G and X. Now we can turn on the render, but right now we're rendering in cycles and the texture works perfectly in EV, so we can change from here in the render properties from cycles to EV. And then just change the intensity of the light here in the light properties to 1000. Now we can see what's happening in our screen. If you don't like, like what you're watching, you can like change it a little bit from, from the spot it's lighting. Um, and maybe like this is okay. So now go into the shading panel and we're gonna hide these two windows since, since we're not gonna use them. And for being a little bit more com comfortable, I'm gonna close this one as well. And then I'm going to come down here and right click vertical split. And now we have two different windows that I'm going to set this one in the right to the 3D viewport. And now we have Susan on the right. You can press your Z uh, key to change it to render it. Now we have um, the Susan right here in the right and we're gonna, we're gonna click on it to select it and then add a new material. In this case we're going to add two materials. One is going to be for the for the Susan itself to, to, to view the, the, um, the texture and then we're gonna add another one that is going to work for the outline. So we're gonna call them just like that, uh, cartoon shader and the other one is going to be outline that's it we're going to set the color to black in the in the outline and the cartoon shader is the one that we're going to have open in the shader editor we're going to delete this principal bsdf and we're going to add a diffuse bsdf before we plug it in we're going to need a few more nodes we're going to add a shader to rgb we're gonna plug the BSDF to the shader and then the color is going to be connected to a color ramp. Basically, basically what this is doing, if we connect the color directly to the surface, as you can see, we're getting exactly the same output. But what we want is that these uh, transitions, that like these smooth transitions in the, in the texture are kind of um, uh, more rough. And for that, we're going to, to add this color ramp and we're gonna set it to constant. And now, as you can see, the texture is changes from white to black in just one second. Now we can move this handler to make the texture a little bit more to the inside of the shape. And now we can add like a mid-tone right here. If we, press, if we press this plus button, you can add a new uh, controller right here and you can change the color of this controller to maybe a gray. And now it works perfectly. You can also change like the thickness of this gray. You can make it a little bit um, thinner, or even make it like I don't know the half of the of the um, of the shader. It depends on what effect do you want. I'm going to leave it like this for now. And but now the only problem that we get is uh, as, you, as you can see, if you move your light, it works perfectly. It, it like represents perfectly how the the light works. But the only problem that we get. If you change the color, let's say that you are animating uh, these, these lights, the color does not affect your, your model, it just stays in white. So what we have to do in order to fix that, it's really easy, just move your material output, output to the right and then select this diffuse BSDF, plus shift D and put it right here. And now as you can see, the color of the light affects our models. This is just in case you want to animate the light or something like that. So now I'm going to leave my light in white and we're going to come back into the Suzanne. 
we just are, we're just missing the the outline of our texture so we are going to go back into the layout since we're not going to use the the material um, the, the shader editor anymore and we're going to select the modifier properties and we're gonna add a modifier a solid solidify modifier so this solidify is basically going to add a new layer of geometry around our shapes we already have like following the normals and we're gonna set it like maybe to 0.06 we can change that later and now we have to change the normals so that we flip them so that the face that is displaying the the, the, the principal face is inside of the shape and now we have to go to materials and set the material offset to 1 and now as you can see we get the material that we had before the the, the, the one that we named uh, outline this is the one that we're getting and that's because when we set the material offset from 0 to 1 this is the 0 material and this is the number 1 so this is the one that is being applied to this extra um, extra layer and now we're going to come down here so that we only see, we just want to see the inner sides of our, of our um, model. And right now, since we flipped the normals, we're, we're watching all the, uh, the, the outer sides right here. So we're going to active the back face calling. And now as you can see, we created this uh, weird shape and it looks really weird. And that's just because we have the, the um, the thickness of our our modifier like too high so we can bring it a little bit down and as you can see it smooths out and now we get the outline here and the outline all around the shape and if you flip it if you change the angle it will it will work perfectly from every side and that's all you have to do to create this shader like you can change uh, a lot of parameters inside of it so that you get like different results you can t completely texture a character from this i hope you enjoyed the tutorial Practice a lot and I hope to see you in the next video.